I'd like to move on to, uh, to ecosystem components and participants. And I wanted to start with, this is a simplified diagram. It's designed to help you understand the main components or segments of the extended workforce ecosystem. The speed at which the ecosystem has been evolving and growing makes a comprehensive graphic representation difficult, if not impossible. Um, this graphic is also designed to give you a sense of the main components of very complex and evolving system. So let's go through the components and highlight a few points, keeping in mind that this is a continuous circular approach rather than a linear step-by-step uh, step process, as Lori had just mentioned. Uh, so starting with uh, analyze and plan, any staffing strategy begins and ends with workforce planning and analysis. This is true for FTE and non-employee workforces, ideally combining both, as you can see the addition of FTE data in this component. This also reinforces the need to bring the silos down. These data come from many sources, internal and external to the enterprise, and there are lots of data providers and tools available uh, for this component, depend on what, depending on what your organizations need. So sourcing, the sourcing component includes your outreach to the various extended workforce segments, uh, and you can see we have them listed SOW, temporary staffing, gig workers, um, independent contractors, um, along with the suppliers, venues, and solutions that provide access to talent and skills, such as direct sourcing. Selection is a critical element of your workforce ecosystem, of course. Candidate matching helps you quickly identify which ones are likely to be a fit. Um, interviewing, along with skills and ID validation, help you uh, ensure you get what you're paying for. Um, and this is especially important as the extended workforce, in the extended workforce, uh, where much of the activity is done remotely. Uh, onboarding is the key to productivity and compliance. As you can see, there will be some overlap with selection. However, the goal is to finalize that process and put the candidate in the proper workflow to align with your policies and processes, as well as get them to productivity uh, as quickly as possible. And then, of course, yes, you can engage the extended workforce. Our recent Voice of the Contingent Workforce study validates the idea that non-employee workers are looking for more from their employers. You just need clear processes and training to listen and respond without running into co-employment or classification issues, as I'm sure many of you are well aware. And then consulting firms and managed service providers also have a role in the extended workforce ecosystem. The specifics depend on your organization's specific context and strategy. Um, so by now you're aware that platforms are the hub of your ecosystem, creating great user experiences while simplifying the coordination of all these components and ensuring productivity and compliance. But not all platforms are the same. Mm -hmm.